Hi everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen and I'm going to show you how to make a bottle from my Alice in Wonderland cake. So let's do it. Okay, the bottle itself is pretty simple. I took a lump of gum paste, flattened it out a little bit. And as you can see, I'm cutting off two wedges on the sides, two long wedges, a short one on the bottom. And then I'm going to take two short ones at an angle on the top, and then I'm going to flatten off the top that you're going to see in a second. So my bottle pretty much looks like a coffin. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm going to take my knife and just kind of outline the edges there. You see, I went around all the edges and went across the center bit there. The neck of the bottle is the same thickness as the rest of it. Just, you know, of course, a little taller, a little thinner and rectangled off. Flatten it if it's too long or whatever you need to do. Make it work. The I don't know, the rim of the bottle, I guess, for the cap. Just a flat piece, a little bit wider than the neck. And yeah, put it to the side. The label I made the drink me, it was just a piece of off-white that I chopped up the edges and wrote on with edible marker. But you see how shiny the bottle is here? I steamed it. You get a pot of boiling water on the stove and the steam that comes up, you just hold it over it and it gets all shiny and it stays that way for a long time. That was it. It was really cool. It should be dry first though. That is important. Back to the bottles label, the drink me, dry, hard, you can see it there. Rolled out some white, nice and thin, but it's an even thickness. Wrap it around the bottle, stick it on there, and yeah, you got your tag on there. The cork um, besides steaming the bottle to make it shiny, I had a lot of fun making the cork. It's kind of sad how little things <laughs> bring you joy when you get to a certain point in your life. But it's a piece of, I don't know, spongy colored gum paste that I cut out. It should be a little bit narrower than the neck of the bottle. Got that little bit of um, dried spaghetti that you saw there, because I don't use toothpicks. I'm dabbing it with a, with a craft sponge I stole from my kids a long time ago. It's um, just food coloring, brown and black food coloring that I kind of you know, modeled on there. I'm using my finger, just spread it out and kind of smoosh it in a little bit. And then I took a brown food coloring marker and started poking it with dots to make it a little bit more corkish. And yeah, get it to the point where you like it. It kind of doesn't matter if you go a little heavy handed on the uh, food coloring because it just, I don't know, works. So yeah, now I've got a cork. You just smoosh it in there and it'll pudge out at the top a little bit, kind of like a cork does. And you've got a bottle. See that? You could do it in any color. Don't have to have the cork or the label. But anyway, there you go. So check out my other videos. i got a bunch of Alice in Wonderlands. Got all different kinds of stuff. Please like and subscribe. If you make anything, send it to me. I'd love to see it. And I will catch you all next time. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.